The last three years on Franklin and Bash, you've yes, been working sir. with one of the great, uh, just terrific actor, uh, Mr. Malcolm McDowell. Yes. And uh, yes. and why we, uh, you know, he's yeah. a terrific, uh, yeah, legendary yeah. actor. Yeah. yeah. I would find him. I've met him a bunch of times. I've interviewed yeah. him, and I think just because of all the amazing roles that he's played. Is he an intimidating guy to yeah, work with? Yeah, he's, Malcolm's super intimidating, and he's also, I mean, he's scary, he's funny, he's scary again, and right. he's like, he's like a little minx, like he's just, he's always kind of, he and I go toe-to-toe -to -toe for some reason, we just got off on a great foot of like pranking each other and goofing, and he always calls me, you know, the midget to the small one, and things like that, and I'm like, I just still hope you die soon, you know, and that's about <laughs> it, but we, Good uh, comeback. Yeah, no, that's quick. <laughs> Well, I hope you die. I'm pretty quick, but uh, we were we were at the we were on our way back from the Turner thing in New York, right? And it was kind of fancy. They had their own plane, um, which is cool. And so we're going through security, and Malcolm, right in front of me, just says, you know, he's got his bag there, and it's a cooler bag than mine. He's got a very nice bag here, and he's all, you know, cool white hair, looks like kind of a shaved Gandalf, and he's like, <laughs> and he he puts his bag on. He goes to the security guys. He goes, by the way. Check the little one for cocaine, and gets on the thing. Yeah, really? Check the little one for cocaine. He and said I know that to what. Yeah, he said that to the T T S A people. It's T S A T S A yeah. people. And I kind of walk up to them like, Haha, I was in Clueless. He's kidding. You know, it, it's cool. <laughs> and they literally were like, Yeah, I remember you in Clueless. Could you stand right over there, please, and take your bag out? Yeah, because you can't yeah. joke about that. No, well Malcolm can, because he's on the plane now, just laughing and having tea or whatever he does. <laughs> and it's. It's a nightmare, and <clears throat> I don't know if you guys have ever been pulled over for cocaine possession. I haven't, but all you start thinking is, what's in my bag that could resemble? Like, I have a little daughter. You Do get, I have baby powder paranoid. in there? Yeah, yeah, paranoid. Do I have baby powder? Did I eat a powdered donut? Do I? Is there anything in the bag? And nothing says like I have cocaine more than thinking you don't and knowing you don't, but being terrified. Right. So I'm like, you can look in it. You can look at whatever you want, guys. You can look at look in everyone's bag. I don't even care. You can, you can look at whatever bag you want. You know? <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I should uh, say I didn't have any cocaine on me. So. Yes, because okay. <laughs> it was Thursday. Yeah, so, yeah. Then, yeah. It, would, it would be a, definitely a different story if you if had, I had a, a ton, if I had a ton of yeah, cocaine yeah. on. We'd be doing this interview yeah. on a phone. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so my, my goal is to somehow hide a balloon of heroin on Malcolm McDowell at some point. Uh, <laughs> what? You can't, no, you what? can't do that. That's a I terrible. Said it. That's a terrible crime. And hey Malcolm, if you're watching, I'm coming for you. Yeah. No, it'll be Malcolm full of grace. I will just slowly somehow, he sleeps with his mouth open, so I'll just <laughs> massage his That's throat. That's the worst prank I've ever heard of. What did you just do? I just put a balloon of heroin yeah. in his mouth. Yeah. Or is it the greatest prank? <laughs> it's a fun <laughs> one. What, what do you do? Like, yeah. somebody better x-ray clockwork yeah. orange over yeah. here. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, somebody check Gandalf for some candy. <laughs> they will. Uh, I talk like this when I talk to TCA, DSA people. Is that what you That's do? That's my cool voice. That's yeah. the gesture? Yeah. Well, he did it to you, he so. He did it to me, so, you know, whatever's good for the goose is good for Gandalf. <laughs> oh. Just write that down. Yeah. Oh, my God. What's up, Twitter? Yeah. yeah. Oh, and I'm the nerd, suddenly. <laughs> I'm talking about bikes. Bicycles and whatnot. Oh. I'm calling it go so fast. <laughs> Now wait a minute. That went from a nerd yeah. to an old prospector. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Hey, I'm on my bicycle. Yeah. <laughs> you do. You and Mark Paul get together, and he's like, "Going in," and you're like, "Yeah, it's Mark Paul," because you're taller than he is. We should, yeah. <laughs> we, now you make it sound like Mark Paul Gosso and I ride around on a bicycle built for two, going <laughs> la 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 la. <laughs> if the bike fits, you know. <laughs> where I'm a little jealous. I don't know if you're getting that. I'm a little jealous of your friendship. With you can Paul. come with us. I don't want to come we'll with you. We'll get you a smaller bite. I don't, I don't want it. No, forget it. <laughs> Andy, Andy and I will go do something. Yeah. Yeah. What do you I guys four get? wheels. Yeah. <laughs> like a, I don't know, a car. Like, yeah. 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 Ride around Two cars. <laughs> I'll follow you somewhere. Yeah. We'll wave at each other yeah. in traffic. Suck it, O'Brien. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. This is amazing, Andy. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Wait, I missed Andy, sorry. <laughs> there we go. It's gonna be the best. Well, you win again. Yeah. Joyce have the ultimate capper. I hope you die. <laughs> <laughs>